So I'm going to show you how to multiply a number by 100 using the column method. So all you need to remember is to move the digits two places to the left. So let's have a look at example 1. So we've got to work out 4.6 multiplied by 100. So the first thing you need to do then is place the 4.6 into the correct columns. So we've got to the left of the decimal point we have the 4 units and to the right of the decimal point we have 6 tenths. So we've got 4.6 onto our columns. So since we're multiplying by 100 we need to move the digits for 2 places to the left. So let's move the 4, 1, 2, so the 4 will go in the hundreds column. Let's move the 6 2 places to the left. 1, 2, so put the 6 in the tens column. The decimal point doesn't move, it stays in line. If we have any gaps between the decimal point and your numbers, we need to fill the gaps in with zeros. So our final answer then, if we just write it off the columns, will be 460. And there's no need to put the decimal point as we have nothing after it. So let's have a look at example 2 then. So this time we've got 62 times 100. So again if you just put 62 into the correct columns. So we've got 2 units and 6 tens. So again we just need to move the digits 2 places to the left as we're multiplying by 100. So if we move the 6, 2 columns to the left, 1, 2. So the 6 will go in the thousands column. Move the 2 two places left, one, two, so the two will go in the hundreds column. And we need to fill in the gaps between the numbers and the decimal point with zeros. So we just need to now write this answer off the columns. So our final answer will be 6,200. Thanks for watching.